Hi, I'm Anne Wawodo. Here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for May the 29th, 2019. President Mohamedou Buhari and his Vice Professor Yemi Oshibadu have been sworn in for another four-year term in office. The landmark event, which held at the Eagle Square in Abuja, enjoyed the presence of leaders of the two chambers of the National Assembly, former heads of state and the leadership of the ruling All Progressives Congress, among others. The inauguration ceremony started as early as 7 a.m. with a military parade by men of the Nigerian Armed Forces and came to a close after the President and his vice took the oath of office. Staying with inauguration ceremonies, 29 state governors were sworn in today across the nation in line with the provisions of the Constitution. While some of the governors were sworn in for a second term, there were quite a few others who got sworn in for their first tenure in office. The governors used the opportunity to reassure the people of their commitment to transforming the state, with some promising to give free education at all levels, while others announced new schemes which will avail the masses better universal health coverage. Away from the inauguration, human rights lawyer Femi Falano says there will be another Occupy Nigeria if the government fails to end the killings in the country. The senior advocate of Nigeria and some human rights activists gathered at the Ghani Fawami Freedom Park in Lagos, asking the government to end kidnappings and other human rights violations. Occupy Nigeria is a socio-political protest which held in 2012 in response to the fuel subsidy removal by the administration of former President Goodluck Jonathan. Meanwhile, a day after his inauguration, President Mohamed Buhari will travel to Makkah in Saudi Arabia to attend the summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC. According to a statement by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Mr. Garba Shehu, the summit will take place on Friday, May the 31st, and will be hosted by King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. At the forum, President Buhari will call on member countries to unite to combat common challenges such as terrorism and violent extremism. He is expected back in the country on June the 2nd. And now to international politics. United States Special Counsel Robert Mueller says charging President Donald Trump with a crime is not an option. Mr. Mueller, who made the statement in his first comments on the Russian inquiry, insists that his reports did not exonerate the president. He adds that legal guidelines prevent the indictment of a sitting president. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anne Wawadu.